Peru's interim president, Manuel Merino, resigned on Sunday after being in office for just five days. Merino was appointed by Congress following the impeachment of former President Martin Vizcarra. But after a week of some of Peru's largest protests in decades, Marino's departure leaves the country back in limbo and without a leader. At this moment, when the country is going through one of its greatest political crises, I want to announce to all the country that I present my irrevocable resignation of the post of the Presidency of the Republic. I call for the peace and unity of all Peruvians. Peruvians poured into the streets Sunday to celebrate Merino's departure, waving flags, chanting and banging pots. But this past week has been far from a celebration. Clashes between protesters and police in the streets have continued since Congress took a sudden vote last Monday to remove Viscara over bribery allegations. Viscara, a political centrist, has been widely popular with Peruvians. Since being removed, he's called Merino a dictator installed by Congress and warned against allowing lawmakers to once again determine who would become Peru's next leader. Many of the demonstrators agreed. The people did not choose you, Merino. Stop with the repression. Two young protesters had died from gunshot wounds in this week's clashes, according to state medical officials. Peru's National Human Rights Coordinator said over a hundred people were injured, some after inhaling tear gas, and dozens were still missing. The latest political shakeup comes as Peru faces what is expected to be its worst economic recession in a century from the global health crisis. The country's next presidential elections are scheduled for April next year.